Hi, and welcome to Voice of Truth. Can you describe to me what an opportunity is? What is an opportunity? When you think about that word, do you think, oh, you know, yeah, I have the opportunity to uh, to do this and to become really successful. Oh, I have this opportunity to make more money. Oh, I have this opportunity. But have you ever thought about the opportunity to grow through a physical disability or a physical ailment or a physical illness? Have you ever thought about the opportunity of growth? So think about it this way. You get sick. You get really, really sick. And of course, everything, depending on what it is, it's all about you getting well again. When you're in that place, do you recognize that you have an opportunity to be one with yourself? Of course, you're probably not thinking of anything else except, well, maybe the outcome of your illness. But do you really, do you go inside of yourself and you think about, okay, I'll bet a lot of people ask, why is this happening to me? You know, why did this happen? Uh, let's say it's a car accident. Why did this happen to me? You know, uh, why, why did I get hit by a car? Why did I break my ankle? What, well, you know, I was just about to do this and this happened. But here, here is the opportunity. The opportunity going through this physical illness can give you insight as to what's really happening on a deeper level in your physical body. So just to give you an example of that, uh, I got quite ill over a year ago and I did end up in the hospital. And while I was there and, and feeling just treacherous, the opportunity I had at that time was A, I asked my spiritual friends to pray for me. I asked them to do any kind of healing they, they could do on me. I know and I would really appreciate that. And I also brought in a book with me, um, which uh, was a spiritual written book about going deeper into the self. You see, I wanted to focus, I wanted to focus on getting well, but I wanted to focus on getting well on all levels and understanding the opportunity I had while I was resting and recuperating. And so then I had another opportunity, which was when I got discharged and came home, I had an opportunity to really spend more time with my family who were taking care of me. And then when I came home, I had another opportunity and that was to recognize that A, I could not go back to the work schedule that I had, that I needed to change my hours, that I recognized that I was in burnout, and that what could I do? What was the action that I could take in order for me to really come out stronger spiritually and physically? So I took time off. I cut back on my schedule and I really started to take deep, deep care of myself. Not that I hadn't before, but now I was going even to a deeper level. And then I increased my spiritual practice. I became so much more focused on the way I felt. And where was my mind? Where was my mind going through all of this? Where was my focus? Was my focus on, oh my God, this is it. Now I'll never be able to work. I feel so weak. Oh, look what this has done to me. Oh, somebody please. No, I did not. Like every other time that I have ever suffered any illness in my life, I took it as an opportunity to grow, to go deeper into myself and get to know myself so well that I could prove to myself that I can come back each and every time stronger than I was before, stronger in my spirit, stronger in my mind. This is so important that you understand that when we go through these, these 
travesties, when we go through these horrible upsets, and it doesn't matter what it is, it is still something that you need to grow stronger through. You know, we, we say that, that God doesn't give us anything that we can't handle, which is, which is true. It is about you finding your warrior within and then allowing that warrior to come out. Are you the warrior? I know you are. So prove it to yourself. Namaste.